Even Supreme Court justices aren't safe from cancel culture, especially them, I'd say. Justice Clarence Thomas has withdrawn from his teaching position at George Washington University after students petitioned to have him removed from the faculty. Justice Thomas has been teaching a constitutional law seminar at GW since 2011. But in the wake of his vote to overturn Roe v. Wade, the calls to cancel him hit a fever pitch. So what does it say about the future of our legal system if our future lawyers can't stand to listen to someone they might disagree with? Here with me now, Director of Constitutional Studies at the Manhattan Institute. Yeah, Ilya Shapiro, he is back. Uh, so <laughs> obviously you're very familiar with uh, these law centers in Washington, D.C. So <laughs> yeah, what did Kennedy, you make of Kennedy, I would stay away. I, I would stay away from law schools in D.C. that have the word George in them. <laughs> In fact, if you cross the river into Virginia, George Mason, Scalia Law School, named after Scalia, uh, they have several justices teaching there with no problems. But apparently the kids in D.C. itself feel so threatened by having a justice there that, uh, you know, the administration, I will give GW credit, they weren't the uh, spineless cowards that Georgetown was with my experience. Mm -hmm. They at least said Thomas has academic freedom. But he said, why do I need to go through the aggravation, probably heightened security to get him on campus and all that? Screw that. I'm going, uh, I'm going to take my talents elsewhere, and I don't blame him. He reminds me of Sergeant Murtaugh in Lethal Weapon. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this spit. Um, I, you know what? I actually, I don't blame him because, sure, it's good to have your principles and to have discussions, even with those who disagree with you vehemently, but how exhausting. And it's like he knows that he's going to be up against this stuff for the rest of his career, probably the rest of his life. So why try and lecture to a bunch of sniveling, intolerant babies who don't know a gavel from their butthole? I'm really pessimistic about the state of academia, including legal academia. There are some law schools where the deans and administrators actually stand up to the illiberal mob, because mm. to be clear, Kennedy, this is not the age-old complaint about liberals taking over academia. I was in law school 20 years ago. I was in college 25 years ago. The ratio of liberals, libertarians, conservatives, moderates, about the same. What's different now is administrators are kowtowing to the left, to the radical left, the illiberal left, and placating them and not standing up for uh, setting up a culture of the free exchange of ideas. So Yale's bad, Georgetown's bad, Hastings Cornell. is bad, now GW. I mean, yeah, absolutely. You know, I went to Chicago, that's still okay. But if you're gonna be a lawyer, you really have to pick and choose. If you're gonna send your kids to college, in general, you have to pick and choose. Yeah. I'm, I'm optimistic about, about uh, as, as Brett Kavanaugh said, Justice Kavanaugh, I live on the sunny side of the mountain for society writ large, but academia, and we may have pay, uh, passed the point of no return. Yeah, and so for parents who are thinking about bankrolling uh, your kid to go to law school for what, 250 grand? Don't send them to one of these places where your student is going to be bubble wrapped and protected and guarded from, you know, those, those hideous contrary opinions that, God forbid, might make them grow, might make them think critically, and actually might make them a better lawyer and a better human. Stay away. Keep your money away. Don't donate to the Alumni Association. They don't deserve it. If they're not standing up for free speech and a free exchange of ideas, then uh, they can pound sand, and that's a nice way I'm going to say it. You know, most, most people shouldn't go to law school in general. A yeah. lot of miserable, indebted lawyers out there. But <laughs> yeah. get a scholarship. Get the school to be paying you to yes. put yourself through school. Otherwise, that's I'm a market signal that maybe you should free. be doing something else. I'm just going to show yeah. up at Harvard with my little dog. <laughs> Ilya Shapiro, thank you so much. Great to have you. Thank you. And